Hey guys, what's up? My name is Rahul and you're watching Manaverse, a conversation for men. So in the previous video, I gave you guys some practical tips on how to go out and approach a girl, how to do the approach properly without coming off as creepy and how to take her full attention. In this video, we are going to talk about what to do after an approach. So a lot of people have this problem that uh, when they go out and when they start talking to people, especially when they start talking to girls, they run out of things to say. They are like, bro, I can approach, I can say hi to somebody, but after that, what do I do? If you have that same problem, then this video is going to be for you. This video is going to be very, very helpful to you. And you can go out and apply this video today. So before diving deep into uh, what to say, I want to mention a quick analogy or I want to mention a quick concept, which is a 90-10 rule. So in cold approach and in game, this is a very famous thing the 90-10 rule which says that you have to be doing most of the work at the start of the interaction. So when you approach somebody, you have to be doing at least 90% of the work or 90% of the talking and they will be doing 10% of the work. So this is called taking the responsibility of the conversation on your shoulders. So when you start to talk to somebody, you are going to assume that responsibility and you are going to take that responsibility on your shoulders they did not approach you you approach them so it is your responsibility to make the conversation interesting to make the conversation more engaging and to you know build that vibe to build that energy into the conversation so now let's talk about what to say what are some things that you can talk about or what are some things what are some frames that you can take and apply today so on the screen i'm going to show you a four quadrant image so in the first quadrant it is going to be about you and yourself. The second quadrant is going to be about her. The third quadrant is going to be about the us bubble or the we frame. The fourth quadrant is going to be about a third party object which is not related to you and her. So let me explain everything one by one. So let's look at the first quadrant. The first quadrant is you. So I'm gonna be in Bangalore for like four more or five more months. Okay. Like I have to like I'm starting something of my own, so I have to be here and I have to meet a lot of people. Yes. Okay, cool enough. Okay, cool, cool enough. Because last time I went to Easy Tiger, they had rock music. And I love rock music. They're not playing it. They're not playing it. And yourself. So when you approach somebody, the first part of the interaction, what you're going to do is you're going to be talking about yourself. You're going to be talking about your opinions. What do you feel? What do you think? What do you like? You know, what are some things that you are passionate about? What are your observations or what are your beliefs? You are going to be talking about yourself. You are going to be expressing yourself. You are going to be expressing your own personality. So most of the sentences that you're going to start in the first part of the conversation are going to start from I. So this is called as an I frame. For example, hey, I saw you and I wanted to say hi. You look very cool. You look very amazing. And my name is Rahul. So here in these four sentences, you have not talked about her. You have not asked any questions about her. You have not assumed anything about her. You are just going out and expressing your feelings about that other person. So the first part of the conversation is going to be about yourself. Now let's move on to the second part of the conversation, which is going to be about her or which is going to be about the you frame. And I like the pendant. I think you are a little bit into hippie. <laughs> You are a little bit of hippie, right? I like, I just like. You just like yeah. being a little bit hippie. Awesome. I'm here meeting friends and uh, I know this is like the weirdest thing to do, but your friend is like staring at me like, Kab kuch achha bolega, bhai. <laughs> So the you frame is a frame in which you are concerned about the other person. You are inquiring or you are curious about the other person. So you might ask questions like, where are you from? What are you doing here? Or you can ask things like, uh, what do you do for fun? Or uh, what do you do for work? Is this something that you really enjoy doing? Or is this something that you're doing just to get a job so that in future you can do whatever else you want to do? So this is going to be about the you frame in which you are going to be observing things about her. In this frame, teasing, push pull, uh, cold reading, everything comes under this frame. So if you are, you know, if you think or if you uh, observe, that she has an amazing style so you can go up with are you somebody who is working into fashion or in fashion industry 
you look like uh, you would be a fashion designer or you look like you are a very artistic person or you look like you are like this or you look like you are like that person so this is called as cold reading so cold reading uh, push pull misinterpretation teasing all the concepts that you have heard about in game are going to be applicable in the second quadrant of the conversation or which is going to be about you okay so you are also going to ask questions you are also going to th say things like uh, what do you do and she is like uh, i am an uh, i am a graphic designer you can be like oh that's amazing i like that job it's a very creative job so what you're going to do is you are going to ask questions and then relate it to you right you are going to use that information and relate it to you if she says that she's from delhi then you can relate oh delhi is an amazing place i would love to go there and experience the night life there or delhi is an amazing place delhi has some of the best street foods that i have ever eaten so you can take that information and apply it to yourself or you can relate it back to yourself okay but in this part of the conversation you are mostly going to be concerned about her you are mostly going to be concerned about the other person that you're talking to now the third part of the conversation is a bubble is a us or so you will have to go for a coffee and then hopefully we both we all will find each other cute and then if it happens out we will go on a three, like we will go on a double date right me and you both yeah <laughs> what happened <laughs> this is this is the law of attraction we frame in a we frame what you're going to do is you're going to assume that you and the girl are one unit and you're going to talk from that place you're going to talk from that frame now i understand that this is a very new way of looking at things so uh, don't you know get confused watch the video once again if you need to if you have any more questions then comment it down below or you can uh, hit me up on instagram if you have any more questions or if you have any more doubts so the third part of the interaction is going to be about a bubble togetherness a we frame a us frame so for example if you're talking to the girl and uh, let's take a quick conversation i'm like hey what's up my name is rahul you look very cool i had to say hi she is like hi uh, my name is uh, let's say my name is tina and i'm like oh nice to meet you tina what are you doing here and she is like i am waiting for my friend and then i can say things like uh, you know uh, the kind of dress that you're wearing it reminds me uh, of a character from a movie so she can be like okay which character that is interesting they like you know uh, there is a movie uh, lord of the rings and there is this character there uh, she is supposed to be a sorceress so i really like that character i think that uh, the way you are looking right now is very elegant and very amazing so again you are expressing yourself and you are also asking questions now comes the third part which is creating a togetherness or creating a connection bond a we frame so in the we frame what you're going to do is you're going to talk about for example i'm talking to tina my name is rahul and I'm, i'm talking to tina let's take that conversation we can be like you know what tina you seem like a very interesting person and uh, it would be amazing if we could hang out later there is an amazing restaurant i know and they serve amazing uh, you know you can say that they serve amazing amazing korean food or amazing japanese food right i have been really wanting to try that restaurant so we should definitely go we are going to have fun so in this part of the uh, conversation or in this part of the quadrant you are going to be talking about a we frame we are going to be talking things from a we perspective right like you and the girl are one unit and you are going to try something or you are going on an adventure or you are going on an experience you are doing something together the last part of the conversation which is a no we studied uh, back at bihar this this place called gaya bodh gaya have you ever heard ha ha i have been to bodh gaya for a so, meditation session okay so i wanted to uh, i wanted to do this vipassana uh, so vipassana is a 10 11 day thing uh -huh. where you like go at a secluded place where you sit there das din tak kuch nahi bolna hai you don't have to write anything you can't use social yeah. media third party in this part of the conversation you are going to talk about uh, something else which is not related to you for example uh, you can talk about let's say i'm talking to the girl let's say the same example tina i'm talking to tina i can be like so tina uh, are you really from delhi or you were born and brought up somewhere somewhere else she can be like oh, i am born brought up in gujarat then i moved to delhi i'm like okay that's awesome so i can talk about gujarat so how is gujarat like i have never been to gujarat but i heard that that is a dry state so i think that you know you guys have some trouble finding some good night clubs or finding any kind of night life in gujarat right so what are we doing is we are talking about something unrelated to the girl and me we are talking about gujarat we are talking about a city 
in the same way you can talk about the weather like you know the weather is so nice today there are so many clouds uh it seems like it's going to be raining in some time but i want to be out right now because it's so windy so what is happening is you are talking about something which is not relatable or related to you or the good this is a third party conversation in which you are going to be talking about an object which is outside of your and her experience right that is going to be there at some part of the conversation you are going to talk about third party things for example um, you know politics or for example religion what do you think about religion or for example uh, you know hobbies and passions for example what kind of movies do you like uh, who do you think is the best uh, director or who do you think is the best singer in india right now or uh, you can talk about anything which is not related to you and the girl but that should come at a very very later part of the conversation so you are going to follow this quadrant whenever you are talking to somebody and when you follow this quadrant you will always have something to say or you can always make up a new material and make up new content to say on the go so you can talk about yourself you can talk about the girl you can talk about yourself and the girl as a unit and then you can talk about third party things which are not related to you or the girl so i hope this concept uh, was you know helpful i hope this all made sense to you again if you have any question then uh, post them down in the comments you can also follow me and you can also text me on instagram i'll get back to you uh if you want to get on a free coaching call with me again follow me on instagram and send me your name send me your city send me your phone number i'm going to call you and we're going to have a free coaching call for 30 minutes that is applicable for everybody so if you are interested in getting that free coaching call you can uh, hit me up on instagram and you can talk to me once again let me summarize the entire video the first thing is it is your responsibility to make the conversation interesting to make the conversation engaging and to take the interaction forward because you have approached the girl she did not ask you to approach you are doing it voluntarily you are doing it by yourself okay so take the uh, responsibility of the conversation on your shoulders the second part is you are going to be talking about yourself in the beginning of the conversation then after you talk about yourself you are going to be talking about her then after the conversation is going good and she is hooked and she is paying attention to you and she is talking to you and there is a 50 50 you know there is a 50 50 effort ratio in the conversation for example you are putting 50% of the uh, effort in the conversation and she is also putting 50% of the effort in the conversation this is called as hook point so here you have hook the set or you have hook the girl after that you are going to be talking about the v frame you and the girl as a unit and then the last part is the third party object or you can talk about anything which is not relatable to you or her you are talking about this third party just for the sake of continuing this conversation so i hope uh, this entire video made sense to you and uh, i have tried this this works really amazing i teach the same thing in the boot camp to my students so uh, if you want to go out and apply it go out and apply it let me know how it went let me know uh, you know how was your experience and yeah subscribe like uh hit the notification bell and if you have any further questions don't forget uh i am always on instagram you can connect me like you can connect with me on instagram and you can ask your personal questions there thank you so much for watching i hope you have an amazing day stay safe bye bye